Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna get started on a new technology, and we're gonna be using something called Polymer. Now, Polymer is a project that allows you to create custom elements, and so that's reusable web components. What's cool about that is you can create your own custom element that works maybe like, uh, um, let's say like a select list, right? You have a select list, it's a select tag with an options inside of it, and then the browser just knows how to handle that. It takes care of uh, default HTML, it takes care of default JavaScript handling, the way that when you click it, it opens up. And you don't really think about this often because you just drop the select item into your project, but that select item is created in something called the shadow DOM, which is really the components beneath the component. So what Polymer does is it allows you to create your own web components, essentially your own elements. Now, I strongly believe that this is part of the future of web development. You're gonna be able to create and share web components instead of maybe throwing in some embed code for YouTube or something like that. You're perhaps throwing in a YouTube element with maybe an attribute that passes in the ID of the video and it automatically grabs that video and brings all that HTML in there and knows how to handle it rather than having to copy and paste a whole bunch of code. So over the course of these next few videos, we're gonna show you all you need to know about Polymer. We're gonna create small elements, we're gonna create big elements, we're gonna create elements that are really super custom that have all sorts of data attributes and do some really cool stuff. So keep watching, we're gonna show you all that stuff over the course of these next videos. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video where we're going to get started by installing and getting Polymer set up on our projects.